In this RV decor and organization, we're gonna tackle my closet here in the RV because it's a black hole. I love to organize and I keep everything so organized and in its place, but for whatever reason, this closet has turned into a black hole. I just put all kinds of stuff in there that really shouldn't even be there. I should be like taking it somewhere else, but I have just put it in this closet and I feel because this closet is such a weird, awkward space here that it's made it even harder to organize this space. Today, I ended up going to Dollar Tree and I got some items that I think is gonna help me with the closet. We're gonna do this together and I'm gonna purge it and get it organized so that it will stay organized. I believe I have enough stuff in the closet to organize with, but I did go into the Dollar Tree and I got these two different size of the cloth baskets because I feel like they will maximize the space that's in the back of the closet. These will fit in there. Hopefully it's gonna keep it organized and it's gonna look more neat. Because if you watched my last video about the steps, I used the last bit of the shelf liner, the non-slip shelf liner. So I went ahead and bought some more from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna put that on these shelves so these baskets won't slip and fall out while traveling. And this shelf liner stuff, it will keep them in place. I know that because I've used it before for this. I put clothes in the camper so I have extra clothes sometimes. You know, that shirt that you absolutely love and it is so comfortable, but it's got stains on it. Or just a shirt that you would say, okay, I wouldn't wear this out, but if I'm on vacation sitting around the campsite, I would wear it. So I have a bunch of clothes in here that are like that and a bunch of them. I put out here and I never wore. So I'm gonna purge those and get rid of them and get all that. And then I just have like extra pillows. I have pool noodles in here, but we're gonna organize all this. And I even have extra storage containers that I've tried that didn't work. So we need to get those out of the camper. I don't know why I keep leaving them in here. So our first step is to get everything and we're gonna put it out on the bed. So let me go ahead and start on that. And as I do this, I'm gonna put these in piles of ones that I know I wanna keep and uh, other ones that I'm gonna donate. And I'm gonna go ahead and take them off the hangers for right now and then we'll put them back. We're going down memory lane. When me and Bill got married, I got this jacket and I still have it and it is in great condition and I absolutely love wearing it like we're at the beach or stuff like that. So I keep it here in the camper. baskets of clothes in here. I don't know why. Well, I try to put like my winter stuff in baskets and hide it, but we're not doing that. And I have shoes in here, ones that I don't wear anymore. I just throw them in my camper. I had the shelf liner on these and they worked pretty good in there, but I'm gonna see if I can organize these back into there. These worked really good for our shoes and I put the shelf liner on the bottom of them and they never slid out when we were traveling. Pool noodles, more baskets, more organization stuff. I don't want that. more baskets and organization that is just thrown in the closet. We have coolers, needs backpacks if we ever need an extra one, not know why I end up keeping that. Another tote that, you know, I might need, I guess. Dog vest, this is their water vest, so if we, you know, if we go kayaking or something. Another backpack. Oh, I 
many of these do I have? Now probably I'll keep this one because this is just a good neutral black one and I might use it. And I already had got one of these a while back just to try if they fit in there and they did. All right, have it all clean slate now. The only thing that I left down there is the weights. I'm not gonna pull them out and put them on the uh, bed. But now I'm gonna vacuum up the floor and just get it all cleaned up and then we will start loading it back in there. When we bought this camper, the closet was the thing that I loved the most because I was like, oh my gosh, look how big it is. But it's not, it's big and it has a lot of storage space, but it's not totally functional. So hopefully today we're gonna make this more functional. One of the things that makes this such an awkward space and not usable is it is so dark back here. You have this one light and I've added two pop lights, which I love those. They're from the Dollar Tree and they put off so much light. They do not have those and I ended up finding this one. It's a magnet one, so it would be great if you needed to put it somewhere, but it's super bright. <laughs> and I'm gonna put that up under this ledge back here and that way it fills that space with light because you can't see items that are there. So I'm hoping that this will help. And because it has magnets and it doesn't have actual, it won't come apart to change out the batteries you need to pull it off. I'm just gonna grab a command strip and put it on here, a Velcro command strip. And then I'm just gonna stick it up there like this. That way I can Velcro it and pull it undone. So now I'm gonna start by sticking some of these in here. Now, these are just at the Dollar Tree and you could probably go and get some that are way more sturdy, but these are just ones that I thought, I'm gonna try to do it with some Dollar Tree stuff. laid the liner in here it would definitely be better to cut these to squares the size of the box and then hot glued it onto the bottom so that way it stays on there coming in and out because I think this here I don't know it just doesn't look super clean and I think if you put it on the bottom of the box it would be even better all right I'm going to get my hot glue gun we'll go ahead and get this done because yeah that's just gonna fit and look so much better. Maybe the closet was bigger than I thought. Look at all the stuff that came out of there. <gasps> oh my. So I've cut all these out. And then I'm just gonna glue these in. And that'll keep them from sliding around. So I decided on this side, rather than putting the totes on the top shelf, that I want to take my shirts that I wear like in the winter time and I'm just going to push them all the way to the back because I was going to put them in a tote, but I couldn't get as many in a tote as I could hanging them up on this shelf. If you don't have them, the felt hangers are a must in an RV. They definitely keep your clothes from falling off the hangers. And I'm gonna take some of these t-shirts and put them in the drawer over here. Since I put my socks and stuff up here now, that way that freed up a whole drawer and these will actually utilize the drawer better than hanging them up mm -hmm. 
that's our collapsible laundry basket. All right, I have the, the closet all cleaned out and I've got bins for all kinds of different things and everything organized. The only, there's two things that I still would love to get for the closet. One is a tote to put down here that would go up under this side over here just because I have some backpacks and bags and stuff. And if I just had a tote, I could put it in there and it would all stay contained because I'm afraid right now it's just going to come flying out. I would like a vacuum that mounts on the wall so that it could go up against over here instead of sitting on this shelf. Other than that, I'm happy with this. The places that I see that will never probably be used is there's two big deep holes here and I have put baskets back there, tried to put things back there and they just get lost. I do have a pile on the bed to a section to donate and I have a section that I'm just going to take in the house and find a place for it there. Also, I love my little Dollar Tree organization that I had made that I'm keeping my socks and stuff in when we're traveling. I think this is like a great little thing. But one thing that I think I'm going to add to this is I'm going to pick up another set of these and then I will attach them to the back of here. It'll be like two sided. So you'll have one on one side and one on the other. And I'll have like my socks and underwear and stuff on one side. And then on the other side, I'll have bill socks and stuff. And I think that would work perfect for that. I would love to know all your tips and tricks for your closet that you've learned over the years. I did utilize the little hangers. I had gotten those at Walmart and I love how they can make that shelf like a double stack and you can put your shoes and double, you can get two sets of shoes in a certain area. That is one thing that I really like about those racks that I had them there before, but this looks way better. I did remove a lot of stuff that shouldn't have been in the closet too. I always remember too, when it comes to organization, it may not be right for a few times. You need to keep changing it up until you get it what you think is going to work for you. So don't be afraid to fail. Some of the biggest things that I've learned about this is one, I had tried to put baskets on top of these shelves rather than pushing the clothes all the way back in. And I shouldn't have done that. I should have kept those clothes pushed back there. Because I have the push light, I'm able to go through the clothes. I can see them and I can get to them pretty easy. Where before they were in my way and then you just couldn't get in the closet really good because of the clothes. If you full-timed, this closet would be so hard. I don't feel like the shelves in the back are very functional if you had all your clothes in here because you would have to dig through the clothes every time to get to those. I guess it would be good extra storage, but it wouldn't be something that you would want to get in every day. I think putting the fabric baskets back there, I think those make that space way more usable because you can put stuff in them. You could stack t-shirts in them. You could do stuff like that and you would be able to pull them out where if you just stack clothes on there, they're all going to just come tumbling down and fall off because I know. Now, I just got to keep the closet like this. Till next time, like and subscribe.